Hi, my name is George. I'm a British Gorilla Yoga teacher and a doodler. Uh, in this uh, video, I'm just going to cover one of the blog posts uh, I've just uh, published, and it's got one of my doodles. Um, and the uh, title of the doodle is What My Yoga Routine Is Actually Based On. And it's uh, got a pie chart and uh, basically got uh, lots of sloth. Uh, if I can spell it, and um, a little bit of discipline in there, but uh, just a little bit. And uh, yeah, I'll just uh, give you the uh, the caption. My noble intention when embarking on a yoga session entails 90 minutes of blood, toil, tears and sweat on a yoga mat in my garden, surrounded by trees, flowers and all things nature. The reality is 90 seconds of sofa yoga while watching funny cat videos on YouTube. So, yeah, I'm a, I'm a yoga teacher, have been for many years now, and I mean, I struggle uh, getting on the yoga mat, uh, and I think most of uh, my students do. Um, there's a, they're a rare breed of people who are very disciplined and uh, will, um, will do their sessions uh, every day and do a 60, 90 minute session daily. So that's a, that's a, that's a rarity. So if you're not one of them, uh, you're like me, you know. Uh, you're in good company, um, so don't uh, be don't beat yourself up. Uh, so that's why I kind of did this um, this doodle, just a bit of tongue in cheek humour, um, to you know hopefully you can realise that if a yoga teacher struggles to get on the yoga mat, um, you know it's uh, and you're and you're not a yoga teacher and you're a student um, trying to get disciplined, you know it's uh, it happens to Virtually all of us struggle struggle with this, so I'm I'm actually okay with doing sofa yoga. So um, uh, so I you know I actually do my work. You know now I'm writing here. I'm doing this blog post. I've got a little table by my sofa, and I um I write and I do all my stuff on the sofa. I've tried doing it at the desk. I've got two desks in my room here, um, and I just find it really uncomfortable to do it at a desk. I'm just can't do that i used to think it was that i was undisciplined but i just find it i i do my best work when i'm actually got my legs out and i'm um, kind of better for my back and i do a stretch uh every sort of 15 20 minutes and that works for me uh, my partner is by the desk and she's very disciplined and she's <clears throat> She will do, she does the same uh, routine three times a week. She'll do a 60 to 90 minute routine of yoga and Pilates in one. Uh, and she's done that routine for 10 years. So she she loves the discipline and she comes kind of naturally to her. But to me, I, I, I can't do that. So I tend to do sofa yoga. I have my yoga mat kind of rolled out permanently next to my sofa. And, um, you know, every now and again, I'll, uh, I'll go from the sofa to going on to the yoga mat. But I don't have any rigid, not rigid, because that's that connotes that it's a, a bad word. I, I would ideally would like to have a disciplined, you know, uh, yoga a practice routine where I do it uh, every day for, say, 30 minutes or something uh, on my yoga mat. But it doesn't pan out that way. Uh, it might be partly because I've got uh, uh, adult ADHD, but I've uh, been teaching yoga for a long time. I think a lot of my students uh, struggle with um, getting onto their yoga mat on a daily basis. Um, uh, so uh, um, I think most of those, actually all of them, uh, don't have uh, adult ADHD, um, but they've just got busy lives. Uh, and so, you know, when you're juggling lots of things, it's hard to do a, uh, a disciplined yoga routine. So my philosophy um, philosophy is, you know, even if you're doing just a few seconds, 10 seconds, 15 seconds, 90 seconds of yoga, even if it's on the sofa, uh, that's that's great. That's uh, that's every little helps. So um, and then every now and again, if you can get onto the yoga mat and you can turn it into a di di true discipline uh, and actually get on the the yoga mat on a certain day, certain time, you're you're do, you're you're well ahead of me. Um, but I do try try to get onto the yoga mat, uh, you know, daily. Uh, so pretty much most days I will get off the uh, I'll be off my mat and I'll do uh, sessions, but they're not ninety minute, uh, you know, full on sessions. I go on the yoga mat. 
uh, for, you know, it might be 10, 15, 20 minutes. <clears throat> so, um, and every now and again, I will do, you know, a 90 minute session, but it's not, it's not, uh, you know, a daily thing. So I hope that helps uh, that uh, even a yoga teacher like, like me struggles with the whole discipline of it. I mean, yoga, uh, if you listen to a lot of the um, uh, the stuff uh, or books or any YouTube videos, anyone that's really deeply into yoga, it's it's all about the discipline. Uh, and that's why I did kind of kind of did this um, this pie chart just to sh just to show what, what I think most of us are like. Uh, so, you know, if we're, we're mo moving towards, uh, I mean, you know, discipline's a really good thing. Um, so, uh, you know, I'm always trying to move towards getting, uh, more discipline, um, uh, with the yoga and with, uh, you know, any kind of routine, especially cause I've got adult ADHD and, you know, you've got adult ADHD, you know, we struggle with all that sort of more than maybe, uh, sort of a normal brained person um might but um so yeah so i mean if you do have an adult adhd and you struggle apparently now they think uh, sort of maybe 10 to 15 percent of the population shows symptoms of uh, uh adult adhd um and i think now the consensus is maybe sort of three to five percent of adults probably have that but quite a few more adults you're talking 10 to 15 percent have symptoms so they do struggle with um self-motivation self-direction discipline organization and it's you know uh, anything to do with uh, with time and getting uh, organized i think uh, sort of 10 to 15 percent of people struggle with that so if you're one of those um, people, uh, just you know, just be comfortable with that. That's uh, that's that's your thing, um, and be aware of it. That's what yoga is all about: is you know increasing our awareness and trying to um, uh, you know be okay with who we are, be comfortable with who we are in the moment. You can always uh, grow. Um, that's part of yoga, but. Uh, it's uh, just being comfortable in the moment with who you are and enjoying the uh, uh, the stumbling as you're moving forward with all the mistakes and everything you make and just be okay with that um, and be gentle with your with yourself so I hope that's uh, okay so just to recap my little uh, my little um, pie chart here it's uh, it might feel that if you're doing yoga not on the yoga mat like me maybe on a sofa <clears throat> and you do a little bit here and there and you're not doing these full-on 90 minute sessions that you kind of normally do if you go to a yoga class uh i mean that's okay so just see if you can do just 90 seconds a day and and if you feel like after 90 seconds you want to do a little bit more that's great if not you know, 90 seconds. If you miss even 90 seconds for the day and you forgot about it and you haven't done anything, you know, do it, you know, try to do it the following day. So um, I hope that helps. <clears throat>